to Cardio Talk. Just don't mind me for one brief moment as I invite our friends to jump on in and join us also. There we go. Let me get the link here. Copy the link. I'll shut this off. Boom. And bam, add the link. And oops, forgot to add the recipients. And this is for everyone who's a part of our Summer Shredded Challenge. Uh, so if you are not a member of our Summer Shredded Challenge, you should be. And how can you do that? Simply text me the number 732-487-3445. Again, 732-487-3445. Four or five. Text me the words summer shredded and I will add you to our summer shredded text group. This is literally me, really me, texting you not quite every day, but most days. Tips and hacks and words of motivation and all this great stuff. So it's an amazing community. 732 487 34 four, five, text me the words summer shredded so I know which group to put you in and I won't spam you at all. Today's conversation as I am performing my own cardio is to discuss with you how much fat, not weight, I'm going to talk about that also, how much fat can you reasonably expect to lose in one week? Now this number is all over the place. The expectations need to be managed. A lot of times people don't understand the difference between fat loss and weight loss. Now weight loss matters, but the composition of that weight is most important. Brief example, I have seen people lose 20 pounds in a relatively short period of time. Two thirds of that weight is muscle tissue. They go on a fasting diet, they go on a keto diet, and I'm not blasting fasting or keto. What I am saying is that they go on a really restrictive diet. They, they drop calories, they drop carbs, and their muscles deflate. A lot of times, that is temporary. It's simply a lack of glycogen inside the muscle cell. Different conversation, but that's something to be aware. So they'll lose 20 pounds. Two thirds of that weight is muscle tissue. They hadn't lost all but a couple pounds of body fat. Let's say six pounds of body fat and 14 pounds of muscle tissue. They're super excited when they step on the scale, but they look in the mirror and they're like, ugh their body fat percentage has gone up. This is something you need to be aware of. Do you want just arbitrary weight loss or are you focused very specifically on non-functional weight loss? Now, what is non-functional weight? Non-functional weight is body fat. Two types of body fat. One is subcutaneous body fat. That is the fat that is what we see the fat that's on the outside of the muscle and the underside of the skin. The whole pinch and inch. Subcutaneous body fat is what we primarily want to remove so people can see our amazing physiques. There is also something called visceral body fat. Now visceral body fat is very hard to see, impossible to see, but it's very dangerous. It is a hidden danger, a ticking time bomb inside your body, in that visceral body fat simply makes its way around your organs. Visceral body fat is deadly. You've seen some of those guys typically with these massive big bellies, but they're like rock hard. You can even see abs. A lot of bodybuilders have high levels of visceral body fat. A lot of bigger, um, high body mass individuals have a high propensity to accumulate visceral body fat, directly correlated with all-cause mortality. That is non-functional body weight. So we have subcutaneous body fat, visceral body fat, 
and also water weight, edema, inflammation. There, now, water weight has a horrific impact on your health. Forget about the cosmetic side of just looking good. Water weight will lead to high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease and distress, irregulated kidney function, and a whole slew of other very serious health issues. This is one of the reasons why cardiovascular patients are put on diuretics to eliminate the body of some of this retained water. We want to get rid of that water. So, edema, non-functional body weight. Subcutaneous body fat, non-functional body weight. Visceral body fat, non-functional body weight. Also, something that is often missed is your skin. I did a video yesterday on how to stop saggy skin. Watch the video. Think about this. How much does your t-shirt weigh? How much does your t-shirt and pants weigh? How much does your socks, t-shirt, pants, gloves, hat, scarf weigh? Simply cover your body in a piece of clothing to cover your body 100%. That in the very thinnest, most sheer material will typically weigh two pounds or more. And that is much lighter than traditional skin. Why do I say this? Because skin has a specific weight. When we lose, when we reduce body size, we also reduce skin size, therefore skin weight. Many people don't consider that. We consider that here, we, we, we understand that. And that's one of the areas that we actually target. And we extrapolate out the reduction of skin mass as it relates to total scale weight. And then we focus on composition. So now, let's back up. Topic of the video is how much weight can you truly expect to lose? Or how much fat can you truly expect to lose? I wanted to give context. Are we just focused on losing scale weight? Which, whatever. Go ahead, lose 20 pounds. 15 of that might be muscle. You have all the edema, you have all the visceral body fat, you have all the subcutaneous body fat. Your body fat percentage can actually go up when you lose weight. If you do not lose weight appropriately and if you do not lose the right weight. Now, let's say you follow a evidence-based well-programmed, time-tested, targeted body fat loss program. Of course, we have our three weeks to shredded program. Of course, we have our living lean program. Of course, we have our four by four and many other programs here at the Dolce Diet and Fitness. You can click the link below if you are interested and you'll actually get a 25% discount today with promo code SUMMERSHRED on our four week or 12 week total, total body transformation program that supports everything I'm saying right now. It's like in real time, you can actually live exactly what I'm discussing. When you start a weight loss program, any weight loss program, doesn't have to be three weeks to shred it. You can start three weeks to shred it. You can start keto. You can start intermittent fasting. You can start a macro program. You can go vegan or carnivore. Anytime you start any dietary change, you will likely notice a drop in body weight. Now, the better programmed that weight loss plan is, the more dramatic the results are. Oftentimes, this is just through your body's response. Your body is trying to adapt to the new stimuli. And we'll oftentimes see a reduction, as long as you're not just stuffing yourself in a massive caloric surplus of of highly palatable synthetic foods, burgers and chips and things like that. But you're, you're actually following a decent plan, you know, decent enough. You'll see a dip in body weight. Well, that's a good thing. The better programmed meal plans 
you will see a dramatic loss in initial body weight. Now, this is coming from a multitude of areas that you must know. I will use three weeks of shredded as the example because that's what I know intuitively. That's, that's what I built, what I see every single day in the thousands and thousands of members in our online platform and the daily consult, consults that I perform are all people inside of our system. So I have very intimate firsthand knowledge of what happens. The first week on three weeks to shredded, it is very common to see the average person lose 10 pounds in a week. And a lot of the trolls and a lot of the haters and a lot of the naysayers are like, Dolce, that's bullshit. They didn't lose 10 pounds of body fat in seven days. That's water weight. Possibly, yeah. Probably, yeah. A good percentage of that, yeah, absolutely it is. That is non-functional body mass that I discussed in the beginning that we are desperately trying to eliminate. Remember, heart patients are put on very dangerous and powerful prescription diuretics to do exactly that, to reduce total body water weight, to reduce edema. You right now are walking around with probably three to 10% non-functional inflammation, edema on your body right now. You wake up, you look in the mirror, puffy eyes, puffy cheeks, soft skin, you're bloated. That is water weight, non-functional water weight that is forcing your heart to work harder. It's forcing your kidneys to work harder. It's disrupting your digestive system from absorbing and partitioning all the healthy nutrients that you're trying to get into it. It's causing a systemic dysfunction simply because your body, through abuse of, of all forms, is holding on to this extra water it does not need. So absolutely, once we start feeding your body properly, the right foods at the right times in the right proportion, the water literally spills off your body, jumps off your body. Yes, early on, you will see a massive reduction in water weight. And also, as the bonus, that water weight is usually subcutaneous. Much of it is subcutaneous. That is the water between the muscle and the skin. Many people confuse water weight with body fat. What does that mean? That means you're not as fat as you think you are. You're not as fat as you look like you are. You're simply holding excessive water. And you can see this in real time. Some days you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, all puffy and bloated. You can't see any definition, it's all blurred out. And a few hours later, you're out in the sunshine, maybe you have a little bit of alcohol, which is a diuretic. You don't drink enough water, something happens the next day. You look in the mirror, you're like, whoa, I got lean overnight. No, you didn't. You lost water weight. What our goal is, our goal is to bring your body to a state of balance that it no longer retains excessive water weight. Now we need optimal hydration to live our best life, but we do not need that water to spill over and be retained. So in that first week, your body will pour off that unsightly, unhealthy stored water, which just causes a whole series of negative effects. Now, body fat. How much body fat can you reasonably expect to lose per week? Well, once you make this dramatic change, once you go from the old life to a new structured life, following an evidence-based meal plan that is near your total caloric dietary needs based upon your, bed and your, your basal metabolic rate and your accumulated expenditure throughout the day. 
what we like to do is we like to get our clients to eat more calories than they commonly would. The biggest complaint on three weeks to shred it in the beginning is there's so much food. Do I have to eat all this food? I don't think I can eat all this food. I've never eaten this much food on a weight loss program. Number one complaint by far, you can go to our, if you're a member of our online platform, you're also a part of our Facebook community. We have a private Facebook group. It's a support group. I'm in there, our certified coach is in there, and thousands of amazing members from around the world are in there. And it's funny because newbies will always come in. I don't think I can eat all this food. I'm worried that there's too much food. Can I not eat all this food? And all the members are like, no, I went through the same thing. Trust the process. Trust the process. What we focus on in the beginning is we increase your calories through high net nut nutrient foods. We want to make sure, again, we're feeding the healthy functional mass. Most people make the mistake of losing, dropping calories too fast, too soon. And back to the beginning, what happens? They break down lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue. Woo! So the scale starts to drop. They're in a caloric deficit from day one. Scale starts to drop. But most of that weight is their muscle tissue. The scale drops, but as a percentage, body fat percentage goes up. Even though they're 20 pounds lighter, they added one, two, three, four, five percent body fat. So instead of being at 15% body fat when they started, they're at 20% body fat because they lost dramatically more muscle than they have fat because they started in a steep caloric deficit, starving their muscles, which puts the body into a stress state, making the reduction of stored energy, fat, much more difficult. The body's freaking out, thinks you're trying to kill it. You're going to a starvation mode. And then what happens secondarily, you don't have energy to work out. You don't have energy to do cardio. You don't have energy to go slang and bang the weights. You don't have energy to do CrossFit or Zumba or MMA or go for a walk. Heck, you don't even have energy to go and have sex anytime with your significant other or even do a good job at work because you're in a caloric deficit and your body is shutting off all primary systems to survive. This is the biggest mistake most people make. And this is where a lot of people don't understand why we do what we do. When I say calories don't matter at first, calories don't matter. And, and you know, Dr. Lane Norton, he made a very myopic video about statements that I made, which are accurate statements. And he, I, I think Lane just doesn't understand. So I'm gonna do a response video to Lane and explain it for him and for you guys, because I think it creates good dialogue so you can actually understand the higher level approach to lifelong health and fitness that, that Lane doesn't understand for some reason. Now, that being said, how much weight again can you expect to lose? Once we get through the early purge of water weight, once we get through the early purge of systemic inflammation as a result from the toxic foods you are consuming, the toxic behavior of your life, staying up too late, right? Um, engaging in stressful relationships, not exercising, eating poorly, drinking alcohol, all of these create inflammation throughout your body. This inflammation is systemic. This systemic inflammation causes a severe dysfunction of the digestive system, which matters. This is one of the areas we focus on improving through the Dolce diet. Ours is not just drop calories, you'll be fine. Balance your macros, you'll be fine. No, you are a, a biological cellular organism. Our goal is to treat you as such, to love you, to care for you, to create an optimal state of health. So then we can manage body mass in a very easy manner, as fast as we want to, by eating 
the highest net nutrient, most healthful whole foods in wide variety and to the point of abundance. So the caloric deficits that we create are through energy expenditure, not through mere reduction of nutrition. But again, how much, how much pure body fat can you expect to lose? You typically lose more in the beginning. Two, four, five, six pounds even, depending on body mass and body size. Many studies have supported that, have shown that. The more body fat you have to lose, the more fat you will lose as a percentage of total body weight. But in time, like me, now you're focused, right? Now you're doing everything perfectly. You're already in great shape. So me at balancing, right, I'm right around 200 pounds right now. April 1st, I was 215 pounds, just under. I was like 214 and 216. So let's say 215. Here I am, what, what, I don't even know the day today. May 10th, May, May 10th. So, I'm gonna just look at the calendar here and give you the exact example. And I've shown this all on my Instagram channel. If you, you don't follow the Instagram, check out the Dolce Diner on Instagram. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, in the last six weeks, I've lost 14 pounds. I will wager this has been pure body fat. And also, I have a, a battery of tests coming up, up at Rutgers, which is a, a state university here. They have a, a hydrostatic weigh tank. Uh, they have a bod pod. Uh, they have bioimpedance. I'm gonna get all three tests done, which I had in the beginning, to see. Have I increased lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue? I think I've put on about two pounds of functional muscle tissue over the last six plus weeks while reducing my total body fat. So I've lost almost exactly two pounds of body fat per week, which is approximately 1% of my total body mass. That should be the goal. If you weigh 300 pounds, your goal should be to lose after the beginning, the first, you know, two to four weeks. And this is why three weeks to shredded works so well. Three weeks to shredded, the common weight loss that we see and why three weeks to shredded was designed was to lose one pound per day, 21 pounds in 21 days. And if you look at every single one of our world-class athletes competing on the, the world stage, Ronda Rousey and Chael Son and Vitor Belfort, the list goes on and on. This is exactly what they did. They lost 21 pounds in 21 days following the three weeks to shredded program which is so specific and so targeted and built to purge all of that body weight early on. But then as we continue, the goal is not to lose one pound per day. In fact, the goal is to very specifically target pure body fat. And to do so, the expectation should be 1% of total body mass per week. This allows us to maintain all that healthy functional muscle tissue. This nearly ensures, depending on the program you're following, which is important, nearly guarantees the maintenance of every ounce of functional body mass you have, possibly even with all the conditions being correct, the improvement, the increase and healthy functional muscle tissue with the total reduction, not just of body fat pounds, but body fat percentage, which is huge, right? If you can maintain your muscle tissue, lose a pound of body fat, your body fat percentage goes down. If you maintain your body fat, but you gain a pound of muscle tissue, your body fat percentage goes down. So you literally gain weight and body fat percentage goes down. But now if you do both, you maintain or gain functional weight while losing total body fat mass, that body fat percentage drops dramatically. So ideally, 
what the goal should be after the transitional phase, the introduction phase, that first two to four weeks of magic that always happens, you should then start to focus on 1% of total body weight per week. This nearly ensures you're not dropping your calories too fast too soon. This nearly ensures you are maintaining every ounce of beautiful, lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue that you've built throughout the entirety of your life. This nearly ensures you are only losing non-functional body mass, and that's the goal. That is the goal. So if you think about this, let's, let's break this out. At 200 pounds that I am, I was 215 when I started, me losing 1% of my body weight is two pounds a week. Well, over the last six weeks, I've lost exactly that. I went from 215 down to 200. I'm just about to post here after the treadmill what the scale was. And I, I actually step on the scale before I do cardio. If I got on the scale now, look how sweaty I am. I'm probably like 194, 196 right now. I, I don't count that. That's, that's, that's not real, right? I mean, shit, I could probably hit 189 if I really started cranking it up a little bit, turned the heat on in here, cranked it up a little bit, use the restroom, I could guarantee you I could touch it to the 180s. But all the weight that I post is real weight. So I wake up, I use the restroom, I step on the scale, bang. Then I go have water, I have coffee, I, I hang out with my daughter for a few minutes, we watch movie trailers. All the great movie trailers, all the parents out there, how excited are you for Lightyear? And all the, the what are we, Gen, Gen Xers, I'm a Gen Xer. Brandy and I are already planning date night to go watch Maverick. Right, the new Top Gun sequel. So it's like, got, got the, the movie planned to with, my, with my wife. We're gonna get a babysitter, watch Maverick and relive the old days. But then all like the great movies for the kids. That's what we did, we were watching movie trailers on YouTube this morning as I'm sitting there sipping my coffee with my daughter and her little sleepy eyes and her little crazy hair and her little cute unicorn pajamas. Get that done. And I come out here, I, I get going. I get in my cardio. 30 minutes, this is 30 minutes at a steady state performing list right now. Super easy, I'm talking to you the entire time. Think about that, I'm talking the entire time. How easy is this? But point being, I'm, I'm off track, sorry. Excited to talk about my kids and stuff. And Maverick, how cool. Shoot for 1% of total body mass. Now, if I was losing 1% of total body mass for six weeks, what's well, 12 pounds? For 12 weeks, that's 24 pounds. Wow. For 24 weeks, that's 48 pounds. In half a year, I can lose 48 pounds of pure body fat at a two pound per week burn rate by eating six meals per day, which I'm eating right now in the three weeks to shredded program. By waking up and feeling amazing, I do not set an alarm. I wake up without an alarm every single day. And I tell you what, I jump out of bed so full of energy, so ready for the day. I'm so fueled, I'm so energized because I'm not cutting calories. I'm still keeping my calories above 3,200. How about that? Because I'm creating a caloric deficit through the energy expenditure, which is what we teach you and what we built inside our programs, our online programs at thedolcediet.com. For anyone who's interested, you want that personalized approach, click the link below to learn more. Also, when you click that link below, look for the online coaching tab. Now, you can actually follow the Three Weeks to Shredded program and have me work with you one-on-one -on -one in an online coaching format. That's a great option. Slightly more expensive, but not expensive at all, considering what you get from that. That's all, thedolcediet.com. Click the link below if you are interested. If you have any questions, my friends, please ask them in the comments. Ask those questions in the comments. I wanna answer every question. I want to make sure you know everything I know. I give so much free content. I mean, think about this. I could just watch, I could do this and just watch a YouTube video. I could watch a movie. I could call some friends. 
I come on here every single day to give you free content, free value. I want to provide as much actionable, honest, and evidence-based information to improve your life. Ask me comments, send me DMs, whatever I can do to help you. I am here to help you every step of the way. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you haven't, definitely. Whatever you can do to engage with this channel for the algorithm, I will ask you to do that. That's all. Everything else is completely free. 1% per week after the first four weeks. That is the goal. That's what I'm doing right now. I can't wait to get my body fat tested. I'm so excited. I'm just like, I'm so excited for that. And then like, I'm gonna do the whole like, you know, the whole cheesy photo shoot, like all the fitness influencers do. I've never done that. I'm not, a, that, I'm not that dude, but I'm gonna be that dude this summer. Cause goddamn, I've, I've, I've earned it. I've worked it. I want you to feel that, that same sensation also. But anyway, I'm out of here. Until next.